footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our 2012 draft grade special for the Green Bay Packers. We're gonna take a look at their draft and see how well they did this past April. The Green Bay Packers came into this draft wanting to get pressure on the QB and you could tell by the way they selected they made a heavy emphasis on getting guys that can get to the quarterback. What I like most about this draft, you look at guys like Nick Perry. Perry is a guy coming out of USC, had a great year two years ago. Last year, took a little bit of a dip, but you still saw the talent there. A guy that has great closing speed, may play a little stiff at times, but you put him in that 3-4 defense as an outside rusher, and his job is just to get to the quarterback. I think he will excel in that position. This was a huge steal for the Packers. Also look at getting a guy like Darrell Worthy, one of the best players in the country, top defensive player, I think, in the Big Ten. Putting pressure on a QB from within has the ability to play the five technique. So when you get a guy that can provide push and hold his own at the point of attack, you got yourself a solid defensive tackle. I also like the Casey Hayward pick, a guy that has great ball skills. And when you got a cornerback that has great ball skills and also great technique, that's the type of cornerback you want in a pressure style defense that Green Bay runs. So this guy does a great job of using his body to wall off receivers and attack the football at his highest point i also like terrell manning out of north carolina state a guy that's a tremendous rusher off the edge has a lot of speed and quickness and also has the ability to drop back in coverage so he's that versatile linebacker that gives you a lot of versatility on your defense now what i didn't like about the packers draft i have some serious questions about the explosiveness coming out of the backfield i know they got a good power guy in james starks and i know they drafted a guy last year in alex green out of hawaii but I think a guy maybe like a Bobby Rainey out of Western Kentucky or even a LaMichael James early on would have made a lot of sense for Green Bay. An undrafted free agent that has a legitimate shot to make the roster and could surprise. I look at wide receiver Dale Moss out of South Dakota State, the Jackrabbits. This guy is one of my favorite prospects. Former basketball player, so he's raw. He's going to have to hit the weight room. He's going to have to get used to running NFL routes. But this guy has raw talent in Green Bay has a spot open, a competitive spot open for maybe their fifth or sixth receiver. Dale Moss could be a guy that could come in and see some time at that, at that position. I give the Packers a B in this draft. I like the way they attacked the defensive side of the football. That was an issue last year. Depth-wise, couldn't get to the quarterback. They got two of the top defensive players in this draft and also look at the fact that their offense will be able to score points so that's why they focus heavy on defense and they did add two depth players at the end of the draft and Andrew Dacko and also BJ Coleman out of Tennessee Chattanooga so there is some talent that they were able to add throughout the roster so I think overall I have to give these guys a very solid B grade. And I want to give a huge shout out to these Packer fan sites for always showing football game plan support.